It was never completely clear to me that I would become a professional musician. I have lots and lots of interests and I have a degree in studio art in addition to having degrees in music. I've at various times in fact put music aside. I taught for many years at the university level in the art department in San Francisco where I'm from. But somehow music always has pulled me back and I think part of that is being in the historical performance practice area because you have more control, you have more freedom. I get to be the only bass player. I know for sure if I had continued to be a, a musician in a large modern orchestra, I, I would have quit. I did quit and I, I wouldn't have gone back to it, I don't think. But because I'm in this sort of niche area where we look at these original sources to figure out how it might have been played. I find it much more exciting and much more interesting, much more intellectually stimulating. I can be more involved as a, an individual. I feel like my point of view matters. For me, the most exciting part is coming to the instrument and seeing, okay, the composer has maybe written a, a, a slur over these three notes. If you listen to modern recordings of, of this piece, you can hear that everyone goes that, that, that. But in fact, that's not what was written. And, and how, if I approach this with my special instrument and my special bows, how does it want to be played? How does the bow respond best? It's a process of, of experimentation and, um, and discovery. And um, this is something that we can do together as colleagues, discussing how, how these things might actually find their true voice. I have these two great interests in my life, the music and the artistic practice. I specialize in printmaking and in particular in letterpress printmaking. And this is a technique, of course, that was developed by Gutenberg in the 1450s. And for many years I thought that they were quite separate but these two things operate in a in sort of one intellectual universe for me. There's the idea of rhythm, of color, timbre, and also this idea that we take something from the past and the techniques or the spirit that went into it when it was first developed and we bring these techniques as if using a thread into the present and apply our own ideas or sensibilities, our own ear to it. But it's using these tools from the past. And I think that's partly why I found my home in the historical performance practice realm. And also in this area of letterpress printmaking, the book arts and working with color and sound. <laughs>